We've just got 10 new chicks today. All of them appear to be alive and well. Um, the larger ones are the ones I got a week ago. Um, they are probably about two to three weeks old. Um, when they actually grow fast, when I got them, they probably, um, just a little larger than the ones I got in there now. And, uh, they had started growing feathers on their wings, but weren't fully feathered out on their wings. So they're growing fast. Um, I'm kind of concerned about keeping them in here with these smaller chicks. If anybody has a um, advice on that, uh, please feel free to let me know. But I know before I had three deaths of those black chicks. Well, two deaths of black chicks, one of a more oranger looking chick. Um, because the larger white hens like the ones over here oh they didn't gotten wet a little bit um they're fully feathered out though so i don't see why that will hurt them uh but i'm gonna have to it hasn't rained here lately uh since i put them in there this is the first time it rained since i put them in there but uh i'm gonna have to find something put that under or put something over it um, for cover from the weather until they're ready to go in with the big chicks or not big chicks, big hens but um the uh larger black ones are uh black copper morans mix I believe that one may be a rooster because it's comb is developing way quicker than the other ones. I know that's not an always guarantee, but if you look at that one's comb compared to that one's comb, that one's barely noticeable to the camera. I can see that one's in the camera. The rest of them, I can't notice the comb on them at all. But they're all the same age. Uh, but, um... That one's wings haven't fully feathered out yet. Neither has that one. Um, they might not be the same age. They were the same size when I got them. But I know some aren't developing quicker than the others. But those are black copper morans mixed with something else. They're not pure breeds. I got them from a um, local uh, supplier. Uh, local farmer had a bunch of mix in their flock and then these smaller ones that you see here are black aster orbs and uh, they lay more of a lighter brown egg the black copper marines lay a darker brown egg um, I like having some mix in my flock white brown one problem with the white egg layers is I don't know too many white egg layers that are good mothers. And that is one thing I try to look for as much as possible. Because I don't want to have to go out and buy $60 whenever I want to restock my flock uh, on 10 chicks. Uh, 50, 60, sometimes 40 on breed where you get them from I don't want to have to spend that money um, every time I need to um, restock my flock um, so I rather have a, mo uh, a few mama birds to hatch them out I still want good egg layer birds good dual purpose egg layer meat birds um, so I can make some sort of profit off of them and have some food for myself and my household um, but I want mama birds too, so I don't. I can spend as little money as possible, like hatch out eggs for me and raise them and all that good stuff. Um, black copper moran mix, pure blood from Tractor Supply website. Uh, black ash orbs. 
Uh, this white one over here, I believe, is a white Leghorn. Uh, mixed with something else because it's got a little bit of black mixed in with its feathers. Uh, and then that other one, I believe, is a Golden Comet with all the orange and white in it. But then again, it could just be another mix. Um, I gotta find something to put over that. Keep them dry. Uh, I guess I'd take some of these extra bags of feed. Take all the water off of them. Lay them over the top. But if y'all got any suggestions on um, what to do about the larger chicks, I think they're still too small to be able to go into this pen with these chicks. But I don't know. I don't want to take risk of any of them dying. But I think they're too big to be in here. Um, I think they're going to trample over these smaller chicks. Let me know y'all's thoughts on that if y'all can. Uh, I made this. I took and cut the bottom out of a 2 liter Coke bottle. And I got a little nut bolt washers. And I put a hole. I took a screw and then did a lighter. And then I uh, used the screw to kind of melt as I screwed it in. To make it just go through easy and then kind of wiggle it around to make the hole a little wide. Um, got a hole in there where I can take and put a bolt through the cap of this lemonade bottle and then the bottom of that bottle. And I tighten it down real tight, put a washer on each side so that way I know no water leaks through and no water does. I tighten it down real tight. Um, it all holds in there and it'll gravity feed it through there and I burnt some holes into each side of the bottom of this bottle and then once those holes get covered the water will stay and it won't overflow it'll fill up just to the top and else stop and when they drink it a little bit more will come down and fill it up to the top and just like a normal feeder would. Um, I already did the little thing where um, these chicks make a mess. I put all their food into one nice pile where they can all get to it. And then they spread it out all over the place. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's good. They don't have to stay in one spot to eat. Uh, they just move all around the pen and have food. But they don't need all of it. Uh, it's, I, it's been three days since I put that food in there. They go and peck at it and eat some. And then they'll stop eating some. And peck at some more. Scratch it around. But this feed right here is a 12% hog feed made with uh, soy. Um... Uh, cracked corn and it's got some other protein additives into it and it's got plenty of calcium in it plenty of, uh, to help hens lay eggs and it's got plenty of protein in it to help chicks grow and uh, I do give my chickens treats every so often for extra protein uh, little table scraps and stuff like that but um it is a 12 percent hog feed and i actually got it from a buddy of mine buy it from him every so often when i start running low and um it's great for birds of all ages it's small enough to where the younger birds aren't going to choke on it it ain't going to kill them and it'll help them grow they must not be too cold because they ain't going. Uh, normally, I, uh, I, this is my first time having chicks. 
but normally I see people doing chicks and as soon as they put the cheeks the chicks in there they'll all curdle up around the heat lamp I honestly don't even think they need the heat lamp just because how hot it is out here here lately it's been reaching 80s and 90s every day but I still keep it in there just in case <clears throat> this is a top I use I put a little thing on it for weight so that way it don't fall over and uh it keeps predators from getting in there and eating them and stuff like that uh and it's been working pretty good because only three deaths I had were due to them trampling over each other and I got 17 chicks right now um and I got one hen and one rooster, but I keep, uh, cause I actually sold two hens and got $50 out of it. That's how I bought these younger chicks. And then the other two hens, how I got the larger chicks, um, I, I end up trading for them. Uh, pretty good deal. I think so. They seem satisfied. Um. And that puts me in buying because one hen, obviously, I ain't going to get many eggs even for myself out of that. But at least now once these are grown, and don't take long for them to grow and start laying six months to a year, I'll be in a bind until then. But at least then, in a year, I'll be getting five times the amount of eggs I was with just the four hens I had, or the five hens. Um, I keep on forgetting I got another hen. Uh, not too long before I got the chicks, before I traded my four hens and sold them. But um, I'll be making five times the amount, just about compared to my five hens I originally had. I was seeing about two and a half dozen a week. Now I'd probably honestly be seeing like eight dozen, nine dozen eggs. Uh, if they're all hens, I'm hoping they're all hens. The tractor supply I have faith in because they're generally good about having all, at least from people I've known who bought from there, all females. Occasionally I see people online, they get maybe one male out of the bunch. So I have good faith in tractor supply, but when buying from a local farmer, you don't always get that lucky. You sometimes get like three or four roosters. Because it is very hard to sex chicks. But, um. Hopefully they all end up turning out to be females. I have like 17 hens and or 18 including the hen I got in there. The hen I got in there is a black coaching or coochin, how you prefer to pronounce it. Um, so I got all black hens now. Before I had a mixture of brown hens, black hens, white hens. Uh, I had three golden comets. I had one white Polish and then I had of course the black coaching so it was a pretty mixed up bunch and then of course I got my weird mixed breed rooster now I pretty much got all black hens which I wasn't trying to do that but looking up these are the best mothers and egg layers and they also get pretty decent size to their dual purpose Um, they're starting to bunch up now so they might be getting cold now but I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more feed for these larger birds I'll show y'all the feed I got for them. So this is my 
neighbor's shed. He keeps all his food for his animals in here too. Uh, basically this white bag right here, this little plastic mesh bag is um, what it comes in. I He gets it, the guy I buy it from gets it from a milling company. And um, that's the feed right there. Good powdery base feed, good for chicks. And um, he gets it from this milling company in Colton County and pretty good stuff. Um, but um, Yeah, just lay that over top of the wire there so I don't have to lift it up too much. And then kind of rub it and be sure it all gets inside the pin and they just munch it up. This one's it's got smaller holes in it so I don't have the pleasure of doing that with. They all seem happy. And, uh... That is a lot of feed down there. <laughs> Just they eating it though, so I guess it ain't going to waste. But I won't need to feed them for a while. And it might not all be gone by the time they're big enough to move into the coop. But um, yeah. Let me know what y'all think. What y'all think I should do with these larger chicks? Should I leave them in here? Uh, what should I put them in, if anything? Um, should I go ahead and put them in there with the larger, larger chicks? The ones that are about a month old? Or they're actually a little over a month old. They're probably about two months old now. Um, y'all think I should go ahead and put them in there with them? Or... What's y'all's thoughts on that? Do y'all believe that one back there is a rooster? Played the rooster game. What you doing, little girl? Out of the coop, getting out somehow. She'd get out, but she'd get back in in a heartbeat. Uh, my rooster used to get out all the time. I used to hate when he'd get out. Because he can never find his way back in it. You come out here 1 o'clock in the morning. And he's just walking out around the yard. Because he can't find nowhere to roost. If he go inside the coop. He'd find somewhere to roost. And uh. Little black girl done got out too. That's not my black coaching, that's his black coaching. Mine's over in a smaller coop with 20 eggs. Put this back over here. She's sitting on those eggs nicely. Got her by herself so the goats didn't stress her out too much. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. Oh, I just put this bob wire on top like that. Just hold it down nicely. Be sure it don't fall over and no critters get in here. Uh, it can't go all the way to the edge, but it's been working pretty good for now. I'm uh, going to build a decent brooder this weekend. Uh, well, not building a decent brooder. We're actually going to build a legit lid to protect them on that. Well, that's about all I had to talk about. <laughs>